Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge, and today we got some stuff to go over from the Star Trek Online official Twitter feed. So, on screen. Yes. So, Captains, what we're going to do is go over the pieces dropped here in the Star Trek Online Twitter feed, go also over the 10 forward stream that happened earlier today, go on the PC bridge, drop the two ECs whilst we are doing that, and then show one more little thing there at the end, and then we'll give our conclusion. So here we go. So we'll start off here. Captains on all platforms can give an original series and temporal items in the Zen store until September 19th. Yes, so we'll go here first, or this one first, actually. So kind of a cool retro picture there of the TOS recruit that is going on on all platforms, like mentioned before and what we've covered. So the original series sale saved 30%. That's a pretty good sale, Captains, on original series and temporal items in the Zen store on all platforms. Again, I've always said, why could they not have things happen all at the same time? They can do it. Just saying. All right, so happy Star Trek Day, Captains. We have a ton of things to celebrate with you today, including the relaunch of Temporal Recruitment, major updates to much of our TOS content, and of course, the Star Trek Day Museum in orbit of Earth, Space, Dock, and Deep Space Nine. But in addition to all that, we're running the original series sale from September 6th to September 19th. Head to the Zen store to find a 30% discount on original series and temporal items throughout enjoy the celebration so there you go captains like i said we'll go over to the bridge in a bit we're actually going to recommend some items there but also like i said at the very end show something else that could still be available for newer captains so there's that and as you saw captains there's also a low buy sale going on so captains on console though so this is for my console caps only can save 20 percent on everything in the low buy crystal consortium until september 12th so here it is, 20% on everything in the low buy store until September 12th on Xbox and PlayStation. The low buy Crystal Consortium is pleased to announce their latest featured sale from September 6th till September 12th. Shrewd captains will be able to choose from their wide selection of wares just by visiting the in game low buy store. All items in the low buy store will be 20% off. Eh, I've seen better of, for this entire sale. Now is the best time to take command of a Kelvin Timeline Intel Dreadnought Cruiser or get your hands on a Bullion Heavy Assault Cannon or fly in the stars in the Vaudoir Astika Heavy Battle Cruiser. Enjoy, Captains. So there you go, Captains. That is also available. Now, to the meat of this. So today... There was a stream here from Star Trek Online on their Twitch page. It will be revealing two starships, one in the upcoming lockbox, and one that will be a free event reward, which, Captains, you already saw it on the thumbnail. But let's go over it here. Actually, we took some screenshots, so we'll go over those. So here we go. Close that off. Open another screen here. And yes, so... This is the free ship that we're getting. Captains, it is a Terran Somerville. To be exact, it's the Terran Somerville Scout Ship. So there you go, Captains. We are going to be getting this. Now, Captains, you know that on my console account, my free-to-play account, I started this account last year, kind of the end of the year there, and was able to get it around this time, actually. And the event reward there was the Mirror Guardian, or Gagarin, sorry, not Guardian, Gagarin. And that ship has served me well. And this ship could also serve you well, Captains, especially if you're coming to Star Trek Online as a new captain. It is not my favorite ship, but as a free ship, Captains, this is... A really good deal so there it is again so this is the ship that we're gonna get in an event which they have not yet named but it's coming up so captains make sure and all you got to do is just participate in that event to get your free ship 
So we'll go over some of the stats here quickly because once the blocks come out, we'll go over it again. But just giving the initial thoughts here. So here is the Starship Station. So it is a command ship. Say it with me, Captains. Yes! Let's go! I love my command ships. I love my free command ships. So here we go. It is a command with a looks like a lieutenant commander. Okay, and then also looks like you have three universal stations. So lieutenant commander command, which is universal. Actually, four. This is also universal. So you can put anything there. Another universal here, lieutenant commander. Another lieutenant. Universal and an ensign universal with a commander science. So not bad. Not bad, captains, especially for a what again say it with me? A free free ship. That is awesome. Now gonna go over here the layout here. It's a three three with of course the sec def. Now showed here the beginning here, it's console layout. So you got inch two psi five and tactical four which of course you can t6x upgrade if you so choose but i have not even t6 upgrade my gagar in there on my free to play console and you know what it's doing fine so you to get better performance you can upgrade this as well and still get an extra couple slots there so there's the stations and now we'll go over the trade here so it's called devious rerouting max hp from epg when shields are low, when average shield capacity below 25%, gain plus 23.1%, maximum hull capacity for 30 seconds, scales with exotic particle generator skills. Once triggered, may not be triggered again for 60 seconds. So that's the trait. My initial reaction to that is just meh. Meh. It's okay. Something if you want to mess with captains, it'll be there for you for free. Just saying. Just for free. Now, the next up that we have here is the universal console the ionic deflector inversion so what does it do plus 28.5 percent electrical damage plus 28.5 starship shield regen they really love the shield regen stuff so the ionic deflector inversion sacrifice shields for epg <laughs> easier set easy done then electrical damage for area of effect there so on back on activation Sets shields to zero, and then plus 25 to one to plus 100 starship exotic particle generator for 15 seconds scales with percentage of shield capacity sacrificed. We rarely have shields anyway, so it's not going to be much. Each second for 15 seconds, 1,563.8 electrical damage to nearest target foes within five clicks. So there's the console. Again, what can I say, captains? It's going to be free why not so there it is we're going to be getting this so highly highly recommend captains to get this now again we know that i've said this before in my free to play videos for the ps4 bridge i want to see how many free ships we can get we're adding this to the list captains i could not be happier this will be our second mirror ship well well okay second free mirror ship and i cannot be happier so there you go captains again we'll go over the blog once it actually releases here is the second ship now i i don't mm, it looks like a tholian in space <laughs> sorry like if you kind of tilt your head to the left minus arms you got a tholian in space just saying but apparently the ship was in star trek discovery chasing book ships as what it was said on the stream there now i kind of want to quickly go over here we also have the video from the stream here we'll go we'll, no, we'll go with it after after the pics here but we'll show the movement of this because this is a little awkward so there it is uh, i all i can say is meh personally for me it's going to be saved resources i'm not getting the ship captains so there it is it's called the courier pilot raider so there it is it's a five through five one layout with a new experimental weapon we'll get to that later it's layout there is eng to psi four tactical five so there you go captains it's not that bad at all to be honest so here is the stations uh so you have a lieutenant commander i believe that's just tactical 
or could just be universal as well, I believe. Yeah, I believe that is a universal there. You got your size station here, of course, your lieutenant commander. You got a miracle worker. Lieutenant. Okay, so it's a miracle worker, and of course, it is a pilot. And of course, just a lonely tactical engine station there. I believe this is actually tactical too as well. But again, we'll go over... Actually, no, it's an Ensign Universal Station. There you go. That's an Ensign Universal Station. We'll go over the SAS when this comes out. You can tell Captain's not really too excited for this one because it just doesn't speak to me. I'm still on my high, Captain's from the Sagan, so just saying. And I'm glad I got that, would choose that 1,000, 1 million times over this. No problem. But we got a full pilot commander station right here. So there you go. That's the station's... This is going to be a lock. Again, Captain, this is going to be a lockbox ship. There. So, again, the courier pilot raider. There is the 5 1 layout. Now, the actual tray itself is special delivery. And mines from pilot abilities, pilot cooldown reduction from pilot maneuvers. So, that is a thing. So activating a pilot maneuver, grant 20% cooldown reduction for pilot buff abilities. Activating pilot buff abilities or pilot maneuvers creates three photon mines. 3,131.7 kinetic damage with 20% shield pen per mine. So that sounds like a cool trait. To be honest with you, guys, you know how we love our torque boats. So even though it has a trait like that, that could possibly be good, it's, it's okay. The ship itself, I would not personally use the resources, even if I had it, which I do, just to get that trait. I would rather get a ship that looks good and even performs lackluster, to be honest with you, personally. So there's that. That's the trait that'll come with it. The console is called the Debris Screen. Apparently, this is all that Jeremy had to go off by, a.k.a. Bordicus. And kind of what we do when we do our sort of fun theme build is he had this one scene, just one scene of the ship flying through the debris, and this is all he had to go off by. So sometimes for us as well, it takes just one thing for us to just take inspiration from to have some fun cube use. So 23.8 physical and kinetic damage resistance rating increased based on throttle above 50%, plus 21.4% plasma damage with energy weapons. To be debris to be debris screen from physical front physical kinetic immune plus speed turn ram kinetic damage immune to physical and kinetic damage from forward 90 percent arc for 30 seconds or until 57,175 damage prevented plus 200 percent flight speed and turn rate ram into foe to deal kinetic damage equal to max capacity of immunity shield strength ignore shields but removes remaining immunity shield so that's the console it sounds like you could have fun why not right and i believe there's also a trait off the cleave ship that you can probably even have doubly the fun doubly the fun sure why not if you want to start ramming things probably not the best words to use right when i mean your ships anyways next thing here is we have the Actual experimental weapons that it comes with is brand new. It's called the Rotor Rockets. Jeremy thought he had fixed this. There's no tooltip, but apparently this fi fires five missile-like Kelvin timeline looking with the sort of, what do you call it? The, Kel the KT effects, the lens flare effects on these. And they also they kind of fly squiggly towards your target, just like the existing sort of missile weapons we have in game now. So that's new. But they all do kinetic damage, they all shield pen as well. 100% shield pen is what he mentioned. So there is that. That is the experimental weapon that will come with the Courier Pilot Raider. Now, those are coming. Captains, we will go over them, the blogs, more in detail, drop them. But at this point, personally for me, not the ship is not for me. That's okay. It could be for you, Captains. There you go. Of course, we always recommend just getting these ships via your EC and not to gamble these for these ships. Now, the free scout ship, let's go. Let's go. Free. Got to do that. Now, the one thing they did show on, 
on stream there was put this back up here how this thing flew so here we go i'm gonna just take the sound off because they're just talking now we're gonna see this thing in motion it's kind of weird that it has again so this thing rotates as you fly now it doesn't have much of a bank apparently but that rotation there is evenly going like left to right it doesn't matter which way you're going that goes left to right now some people may not like that some people may not be able to even fly the ship because it could get them a little sick due to motion sickness that was a concern on the stream that i saw on the comments but that is that is that that is the how it looks and yeah it's not again to me i can see a tholian in space now the more i see it. <laughs> the things i see so there's that now before we go on here there again there's that station just or this ship just kind of flying through again it has pilot maneuvers captain so there's that now the one thing as well we'll show off here because they did show it off in argala like they usually do show off that sort of trait there that covered or the console that covered kind of the front of the ship there while they pewed right there so you can see kale going into battle here he's going to activate it and it's like a honeycomb shape there you go and it, again it's a pilot ship so it, again throughout this whole flight every time you're moving that is the motion of it so again it's not really for me to be honest with you so there's that now captains we're going to go on to the PC bridge here. Now, this is actually my one, my temporal recruit. And, of course, I made this one a theme character being Enterprise era, because why not? But the reason why I wanted to go over here was just go over the sales for the TOS event, temporal recruit event. So, you're going to get your uniforms here that you want. Now, you will already get the 23rd Century Starfleet uniform because that's the, what your uniform that you're going to start with. But you also got this here. You got an Andorian, the Amir Universe, Tellerite uniform, a torn 23rd Century uniform. Got a Century Vulcan. Now, here it's to the ships. Nothing to me really sings here. This would be nice if it wasn't 7,000 Zen, even at a 30% off. It's hard for me to recommend, but it's nice to have. It's up to you, Captains. Again, I got this for... It was given to me, gifted to me, and then it's actually, I believe, some sort of promotion giveaway, so I actually have this on my whole account. Now, the one thing I want to bring attention to... Of course, well, there's all the ships here. But Captains, of course, you can go in-game. You can see this. See, as you can see, Captains, I already have some of the things here. Especially the legendary TOS Starfleet Captain Butter, which is the TOS Miranda, which I, is one of my favorite ones. You do also have this temporal special agent pack. Now, it's going to be there for you if you want. But I want to bring attention to this. The temporal agent starter pack. Captains, we did a video back at the beginning of August regarding a free let me say that again a free temporal agent starter pack so what i wanted to do go back out here go to that very video that we did here as you can see here august 1st is when we did this okay i linked in the description the temporal agent starter pack giveaway it is through crucial Games crucial, you have to have an account, but I click on it, and this is as of September 6th, you're brought to this site, and there's still keys left. So, Captains, this could be your chance to get that for free, and this is going to be great for your new tune. So again, what do you get? Well, you get a Constitution Light Cruiser, so the original Connie, it is Tier 1, but you also get a Paladin Temporal bat Battle Cruiser, Tier 6, that you can get. And of course, there's that TOS RIP uniform. You get that BOF, Starfleet 0718 Model Android Officer, which is from the KT universe. And then, of course, a Temporal Agent Tile. So, just saying, Captains, 
that is still there for you to get if you so choose hopefully captains let me know if you go through that let me know i will link everything that we went through in the description below so that you can go over it yourself in your own time especially that link i already got mine so i can't really get another key but it looks like there's still keys left so i will try to put this also in the thumbnail so that you see this so that you can get your shot at that so captains there you go we thought that we would drop the ecs there as we always do now there is a couple more nuggets that were dropped in this 10 forward stream that we're going to make separate videos on which i'm super excited which actually ties into a video that we were supposed to work on or was working on or plan to work on and now this is a perfect excuse because we heard it directly from one of the devs on what could possibly come or is coming so stay tuned for that captains like the video comment below subscribe to youtube bridge and we will leave it on this note live long and prosper